All right, guys, welcome to another video. Uh, Mr. M here. I'm with a special guest, Mr. A. And today we're going to talk about um, some of his feedback because, as you guys know, um, I released, launched my new online program. And Mr. A was one of the guys who enrolled and spent the past couple months um, taking it. And today you're going to hear a little bit of feedback from him. Um, I've known Mr. A for uh, about a couple years now. If you guys look back earlier on the channel, he actually came to a Rio boot camp that um, James Tusk hosted, and I was one of the coaches there, and that was pretty much like his initial glimpse into like South America day game, and he had an absolute great time. So that was my first time meeting him there, and then obviously we – um, he took part in this course in which he's going to talk a little bit about it. So, Mr. A, how are you doing, man? How's everything? It's been great. It's been great. Uh, um, yeah, it's been great. I, I'm looking forward to talking about the course, which I recommend to anyone who's who's uh, willing to set goals and have have uh, someone hold them accountable for them. Yeah, so let's talk a little bit about that. So, obviously, AJ, we met, you know, primarily because of, obviously, you were – um, your cold approaching and we we're kind of helping you um, with that journey uh, my course <laughs> we do talk about dating but it's a little bit more of a holistic um, approach and material that we cover just like one of the first questions I have is before you began the course what was kind of like your thoughts in terms of the whole self-improvement um, what did you think about it <laughs> and before were you a proponent of self-improvement or was it something that you didn't really um, really get involved until maybe this course or in the past few years seriously? Yeah, so I've heard of the term self-improvement before, right? Like years before, but I never really, I guess, delved into it that much or really made an effort to take part in any self-improvement. But um, as a, I guess, as, as an unintended result, right, of getting into the game and meeting you guys and James and the crew, I realized that it was a lot more than just day game, right? Uh, because it, to be a good day gamer, you need to be, you need to have so many things on point, right? Yep. Finances, career, everything, uh, set goals in life. So, so that's when I realized that, uh, I needed, uh, I need to take part in some self improvement, right? So, uh, because if you want to be good at anything, you need to be a well rounded person. Uh, and when you're well rounded, then you will see results uh, come about. So, there were areas in uh, of my life that I needed to sort out. Uh, one of them is uh, career wise, is my career. So, I, I think you helped me a great deal uh, set goals in this course that will allow me in the future to have a more flexible lifestyle so yeah that was that's actually a really good point because obviously a lot of guys whether they're younger um a lot older yes girls is one component of a guy's life but there's a danger rabbit hole of getting too involved in it and then kind of disregarding other areas of your life and you kind of brought up the point that the most successful guys who are actually good with girls yes you do need to learn how to approach and how to talk with them but if you have nothing else to offer in terms of like if your finances are shit or if you dress like shit if you're out of shape or if you're not ambitious then you're kind of like that weird guy that spends all this time you know approaching girls so there has to be that balance and especially the order that you get there is an expectation um that you need you do need to have your stuff together and especially if you want to date like those higher quality girls, um, yes, you need to learn how to talk to them. But like if you have nothing else going in your life, then they're kind of not really going to take you seriously. So that's why it's never sexy. But guys, just as much as they need to learn how to talk to girls, they also need to be disciplined and passionate about the whole self-improvement journey. Because, yes, it's not as sexy as talking to girls. But in the long run, it's going to make your quality of life better for you. And as a byproduct, you'll be attracting more girls. So AJ, um, you mentioned um, some of the more kind of the career, the lifestyle, and kind of knowing you, and you can share a little bit. You don't have to share too much in detail. 
but you mentioned that you come from a you're a corporate professional and you come from that kind of background but you mentioned that one of your goals was to become a little bit more flexible because you love to travel and stuff like that so how were you in the past couple months um, set your goal in terms of driving towards that direction of having that as a part of more of your lifestyle in terms of like traveling more and stuff yeah so as you mentioned travel has always been a passion of mine since i was uh very young right uh so i realized as you know as you mentioned like i've been doing a corporate job for the past 10 or 11 years uh a few years ago i realized that that was not uh my place or a place where i was going to be happy right uh or for for feel like there, there was something there was something about being stuck in an office from nine to six that seemed just wrong to me right and um the question for me uh, is how uh do i get myself out of that rat race right so i guess uh uh my my goal which 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 i now see which which i now see as something that's very very achievable in the short term future is uh you know to 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 keep working but maybe working remotely that will allow me to travel more and do the stuff that i really want to do I, i'm going to be much more happier that way and the question has always been how to do that and i think the course you really helped me uh, see the different pathways, the different options that I that I could take to achieve that goal. And that's been really helpful for me. Yeah, no, definitely. And then as you realize, as you mentioned, it's only been a couple months. And even in a couple months, a short time period, you can really start taking actionable steps to change your life. And a lot of guys, um, this is a big area in which a lot of guys lack is they just don't take the action steps. I think everybody, they have goals. They have vision of what they want their life to be. But then they don't take the necessary action steps on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis to actually make that happen. Some things are going to happen faster than others. But regardless, you need to take those action steps. And that's why, you know, as part of the course, we had the weekly accountability calls to kind of check to make sure that you're doing the stuff that we're talking about. And after a while, you realize, oh, wait, it's actually achievable or it's not like too out of the distance and i think a lot of guys um, they'll realize that if they actually have some kind of discipline they have some kind of direction then a lot of the stuff that they want is actually achievable is this a matter of accountability and then on your part taking that action so aj then um obviously you in the past couple months obviously it was good to kind of see your transformation in terms of knowing what you want because different guys want different things um going forward now in terms of now being involved in like self-improvement and having a new angle different idea about it how are you going to like implement this in terms of like your everyday lifestyle going forward at least for the rest of this year because now the first two months are over which is a perfect start so how do you plan to implement it for the uh at least for the rest of this year and going forward. Yeah, sure. So the way I'm going to implement it is uh, something that you've, I think, done a pretty good job uh, with these uh, weekly calls, which is to break down a big goal into small achievable ones, mm-hmm. right? So if you, because I I cannot say to myself, oh, I, I want to be, I want to have a remote job, you know, and 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 try to do that tomorrow you know it has to be you have to break it down in some achievable small goals so that will ultimately lead you to that big goal yeah right so even though the course is over i still have some small steps that i need to take to uh to get to that that big goal that i have uh but because i have taken these small steps uh i'm closer to, i'm a lot closer to that goal right so i think um you know if if i keep doing that if I can keep implementing uh, those short, those short uh, term goals, those smaller goals, uh, in the next weeks, months, I, I think I'll be in a position to achieve the overall goal of uh, having a more remote life, like you have, in the next, in the next, uh, maybe towards the end of this year, I think. Yeah. So that kind of. It's one of the books that I include in the course. What you're mentioning is the compound effect. So basically it's 
when you start to take small action steps, then it becomes like a snowball. For one, it becomes like a part of your daily habits. And then two, you do enough something's going to fall, something's going to click. And then again, it's that compound effect, just like how they talk about when you invest for the long term, you know, you put a certain amount of money each month over time, that compound is going to start to kick in and it's going to start to get bigger. Well, that's the same for anybody who has goals, whether they're small or large, but especially it's good that you brought up these larger goals that people have, but then they have the goal, but they don't know how to get from point A to point B, like all the in incremental steps. Sometimes they're boring or sometimes they're monotonous, but you need to take those incremental steps that eventually lead to the big goal. And, um, you know, you mentioned that in terms of like the finance stuff during the course, you're in the process of buying a property and you realize is how right. much goes into it. Right. So it's kind of the same thing of all this, like steps that you have to take organization, but then next time you buy a house or your second house, since you already went through that process, you're better prepared for the second one. And then final question, Mr. Um, Mr. A, uh, obviously you kind of mentioned how you found it. Would you recommend um, anybody in regards to uh, taking up this course? Because again, even though self-improvement is not the sexiest thing and a lot of guys are lazy, they just want to learn how to talk to girls or they just want these quick, rich um, schemes. What would you tell guys who uh, are maybe younger or even older? What would you guys, what would you tell them in regards to that they're thinking about joining a course like this? Yeah, I mean, just take action because uh, I think if you are serious about realizing your goals and you want someone to maybe help, uh, help plan how to get there and someone who will actually hold you accountable, have hold your feet to the fire, you know. From someone who who probably has has achieved what your viewers are trying to, uh, trying to achieve, right? So it's it's not, it's not only that that you just talk about it; you are you're living it, I think, right? So I think that gives you more credibility uh, to give this advice. And I think uh, again, you know, your uh, I guess your viewers need to have that conversation with themselves first and uh, and get serious about improving. Uh, whatever aspect of their life they want to improve, right? Yeah. And, once, and once they have that conversation with themselves, then the, the, I think they should get serious about it and take action and, and get to, get to self-improvement and your course is a great way to do it. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Ray. And I think to kind of close off, you're bringing in the point of time is our most valuable asset. I can't tell you so many times, you know, people say, oh, I'll get to this later, or I don't want to do this, blah, blah, blah. What they're doing is they're just wasting time. And then before you know it, another year passes by and all their goals that they had is not achieved. They're still in the same spots, whether it's in their dating life or with their overall life in terms of where they want to be at. And again, for me personally, I know that you're doing it too. Um, I invested so much in myself and I took programs. I took courses when I was young and I was gladly willing to pay money and invest my time and money because I know that, you know, I was going to get a, the best return on your investment is always investing in yourself. You can always make more money in the future, right? But you can never get back the time. So like, why would you waste your most valuable resource time? Um, and again, thinking that things are just going to magically happen. So obviously, Mr. A, it was um, a pleasure. Uh, we'll, we'll be obviously um, keeping in touch because one of the things, even that the course ends, there's still going to be a few accountability calls just to make sure that we set you on the correct path for the rest of the year. So obviously, anybody who's interested, um, first link in the description, you can just book a free 15-minute call with me. We can discuss about where you're at. And then obviously, if anything's of interest, we can have a chat about it. Uh, Mr. A, it was a pleasure. Thank you so much. And everyone, we'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and uh, good night.